What's going on guys? It's Anthony with Ann Strone, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the Sony A7 Mark IV. That is actually what I'm using to record this video on right now. I actually switched from the Panasonic GH5, and to be completely honest with you guys, I am recording this video again because I had no idea what I was doing with the whole audio thing. With my GH5, I could just plug in my Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones and audio would sound great. Whereas I've noticed this Sony is definitely a little bit more of a customizable camera. There's a lot of different menu options that I'm not used to. And so I still have to get used to this camera, so bear with me. I don't plan on getting rid of my GH5 as of right now. I think that I have uses for it still, but the whole reason why I upgraded to the Sony A7 Mark IV is because of how incredible it truly is. It shoots 33 megapixel photos, and it also shoots 4K at 60 frames per second, but more on that 60 frames per second later in the video. First things first, how are the photos? So I've done some tests, I've done some bracketed shots, and I've done some single exposure shots. And as you guys can see in the corner, you will see the ones that are HDR, they will be labeled HDR and the ones that aren't, I just will leave empty. So you can tell which ones are which. So overall, I'm very excited about this sharp, amazing look that these photos have. And it's one of the reasons why I switched. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what I do for a living, I actually shoot media for a living, mainly high-end real estate here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I've been using a Sony A6000 for all of my interior photography. The A6000 is a very basic camera compared to this, although the A7 Mark IV is called an entry-level camera, which I thought was interesting. But the A6000 did a really great job and it's helped me build my business. My clients really love my photos from the camera. I mean, it shoots 24 megapixel. So when it comes to real estate, what more could you ask for? With this new A7 Mark IV, I'll be upping my game to not only the full frame sensor, but also I will be able to shoot 33 megapixel photos, which will likely result in a sharper, better looking shot. Now, for any of you guys that are wondering, I do shoot using HDR. I don't use flashes or special lighting. I know that's kind of controversial in the real estate uh, photography community, but HDR works incredibly well with my Sony a6000 and I have no doubts that it's going to work just as well for me if not better with the a7 mark IV. Now let's jump into video. So the a7 mark IV can shoot 10-bit 4k video. When it comes to shooting at 60 frames per second things are a little bit different and it's kind of annoying and it could be a game changer if you're looking into purchasing this camera. Shooting 4k at 60 frames per second is cropped with this camera. So that automatically is going to reduce your wide angle shots down to a more cropped image, which kind of sucks because even with my non full frame uh, GH5, I can shoot widescreen 4K 60 frames per second, which is likely why I'll be holding onto this camera a little bit longer. With my interior video shots, I need to be able to get that wide view and I want it to look kind of like the pictures. This camera shoots 12 millimeters. So the lens that I actually just ordered for my A7 Mark IV can actually shoot 12 to 24 millimeters, even with 60 frames per second, that's probably gonna crop it down and make it look more like an 18 millimeter shot, which I'm not too happy about. One of the big things I wanted to do with the A7 Mark IV was to be able to switch to one camera for all of everything I do. Honestly, I'll still have uses for this camera, the GH5. It's okay, it's not bad having two cameras, especially when I'm doing this for a living and I may need backup cameras and whatnot. But other than that, the video looks really sharp and it looks really, really good. And I will definitely have a comparison between the video on the GH5 and the A7 Mark IV. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to share an initial first impressions on the A7 Mark IV. I'm really excited to start using this camera. 
I've put a lot of money into it, so, but I know I will get a return on my investment. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video today, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also please make sure to hit that like button so that the video ranks higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.